just, it, it's a lot to take in. Michelle Davis Younger making history in the place she was born and raised. People just saw me, you know, as a little child and, and they've seen me grow into a woman and now being the mayor of, of them, you know, it's, it's a victory for all of us. She's the first black mayor, the first female mayor, and the first Democratic mayor in Manassas, a place where her parents, now both in their 80s, also grew up. They have seen um, segregation in Manassas, where they places where they couldn't go in the front door, they couldn't sit and eat, to now their daughter being mayor. So it's just like full circle. She clinched a win in a place where the mayor has always been a Republican by just 282 votes. People want to see change. They want to see people who are fighting for the lower people who are often overlooked, um, discounted, no voice. That's what I think the change is finally coming forward. I often say the beast is woke now. And as far as her history making trifecta, her hope is that she'll be an inspiration to young girls and other women of color in her hometown. It's a lovely load to bear because you know that you're having an effect on future and, and, and any people of color, period, but women especially, um, and the things that we've had to go through to get what we got. And, and now here we are, at least in our little corner of Manassas, our little 10 square miles. <laughs> Davis Younger told me she's so eager to get to work, but she has to be sworn in first. That will officially uh, happen early next year. She says, though, her first priority really is to get Manassas through this pandemic. Annie?